I'm going to go out and uh, up, uncover our pile of timbers, see if I can't get some joinery cut today, or at least iron out the process for all the different bits and pieces. I do work in AutoCAD, but I don't own a printer. So all of this is, all of the information is generated uh, by me working in the computer. Uh, but then to carry it out onto, um, uh, out onto the site where I'm actually going to work, I have to put it on paper some, in some way. Where's your cat? We got a mouse in this pile. Yeah. We need a cat. All right. I'll go get a quick fix. Right? No. <laughs> we have this kind of Norman Rockwell family here. We have kids who aren't perfect, but they're generally kind and loyal and hardworking. We have parents who are kind and loyal and hardworking. We have a dog who's kind and loyal and hardworking. And then there's the cat. Is that cat going to pee in your carrot bed? Make no mistake, our cat is very good at being a cat. He likes to hunt. He doesn't mostly prefer to hunt mice. Mice are maybe a little bit beneath him, although he certainly does decapitate one now and then. Uh, he'd rather hunt birds, the cuter the better. Small, cute birds are his favorite thing to hunt. And every once in a while, he gets in a tango with a squirrel. Stella tried to get Sugar to get the mouse out of the lumber pile, but sadly failed. You grab the mouse and give the mouse to Sugar and then see what Sugar does. Alright, let's do that. There you go. Let's just catch the mouse for him. Where's yeah, the mouse? He's like sweeping and oh, I throwing see the it. dirt in front of a bag. I <laughs> see it. I'll go grab him. <laughs> Where's Shiggy? Where's that guy? When Nick gets quiet like that, he, you know he has a lot of things in his head. All other projects for our homesteading family are on hold until this shop frame goes up and the roof is put on. We always put our weekly hit list in the center of our board, our list making project board. This week, the only list there is Nick's shop to-do list in his handwriting, and I can identify and understand about a third of that list. So it's really all Nick, and it's all in his head right now. There can be some nervousness about whether every detail is in fact taken care of, or what um, surprises may lie on the road as he begins to do the joinery for these trusses. I've decided today to give him a little bit of space. Want some? Everyone 
is wrecking. I'll get you some more so you can all see. What is happening in here? This looks fun. I'm stuffing a Yoda, stuffing a Yoda. You're stuffing a Yoda? Can you tell me what you mean by that? This is for stuffing the Yoda. The kids are beginning to engage in their money earning craft project. Now this is a work in progress. We're kind of letting them go through a process of making their own discoveries about this, but we did promise that we would create an, a venue for them to sell things that they make. They started out with a Yoda stuffed animal, which um, is very cool and very hard. Um, so we transitioned to making bean bags for juggling, um, and that's a much simpler pattern. And they're now working on their their R and D phase, their development phase, to figure out what they want their bean bags to look like, and how they want them to be produced. If we cut out a green star and we sewed it onto the bean bag, mm -hmm. that would be really pretty. That would be really pretty. We've got to get your sewing skills a little sharper. Okay, so just keep practicing. Sharp your... is the needle. And so we continue to live the beautiful life. The timber framing teaches us that quality takes time and quality is worth time. While the beautiful world in spring teaches us to pay attention to every little thing and be surprised. No matter what the kids end up doing this summer, and there are a number of different directions they can go, you can be sure there will be plenty of beauty and plenty of play because that's just how we do things here at the Little House. So this is scene, scene one in the Chronicles of Arcadia. Yeah, scene one. And obviously you can see he's outrunning them by, I don't know, five miles per hour. <laughs> he's a lot faster than they are. Yeah. Nice. So I got through my first piece. The first piece is always super slow and a little discouraging because you look at the list and you say, Oh my gosh, I have 24 pieces or something like that to go. And uh, this one took me most of the day. But it's a lot of developing systems. Um, I don't do it enough to where I have a pile of jigs for every situation. So I'm kind of making it up as I go. But through cutting the first one, I'm able to develop those methods that uh, make it repeatable. And the, and the subsequent pieces are uh, gonna go a lot faster. She's grabbing it. That's okay. Don't get me. She won't. Yeah, don't, don't put your fingers in it, but she grabs it and hands it off. Here you go. Here you go, kids. Some. Oh, 
want some. Why not wrong? Yeah, Harry, the Harry Harriet is very self-sufficient. Just hanging out there in the back. But Ron wants to take everything out of Mom's mouth. <gasps> like, Mommy, I want that. Look at him. He's like, I can't feed myself yet. I must have things from my mother's mouth. <laughs>